And good evening, everyone. Hundreds gathered to remember a teacher and coach who touched the lives within his school and community. Bob Stegmuller died tragically last week. There was a memorial for the Little, Little Miami coach tonight in Lebanon. Local 12's Brad Underwood was there and joins us with a look at a remarkable man. Brad. Remarkable indeed. Good evening, Curtis. Bob Stegmuller was a family man, a friend, a coach, and a correctional officer in Warren County. Tonight in Lebanon, it was very easy to see just how important he was to so many people. Waiting in line for almost an hour, hundreds did so patiently just to get a chance to see pictures of Bobby Stegmuller, see his family, his daughters, and his grandchildren, just hoping to express just what he meant to them. This is something that Bobby um, would have wanted, you know, being out here in the outdoors with all, with all his uh, friends and family out here, you know, it just, it's, it's amazing to see their support and, you know, it really, it really helps out with the stag molars. It, it definitely um, gives them strength to see all this uh, encouragement and support out here. I think, that, I think this would make his day, man. Stag Muller was the girls' golf coach at Little Miami High School, but he also coached at King's High School. He meant a lot to our team. When we played him, it wasn't about competition. It was about, like, love of the sport, and he was so supportive of all of us. If he was having a match, like, on the other part of the course, we had a match, he would always drive over and always watch us and congratulate us, and he's, a, he's an amazing man. An amazing man, a man who invested his time in making others better, making people smile. We had a little handshake. <laughs> yeah, when I would walk up to the tee, I'd always make sure if he was there, I'd run up, and we, like, knuckle bump, and he'd always, like, wish me luck. He was... It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Stegmuller drowned after trying to retrieve his pontoon boat a week ago. Being outdoors, on the water, and in the woods were both passions of the 47-year-old. We had uh, plenty of times to go uh, goose hunting together. We have a property right down the road that we uh, do lots of goose hunting at. And we had some good times there, man. Uh, just, I'll, never, I'll never forget every trip that we've done together. Steg Muller was a coach for more than 20 years, including softball, volleyball, golf, and even cheerleading. You know, he just wanted to spend as much time as he could with his daughters. And for more than 20 years, he was also an employee at the Warren County Correctional Facility. And I talked with the warden tonight. He told me just what an impact he made at the facility with all of his coworkers and even the inmates. He tried to help and make a better life for them. Just a, a caring and genuine person, Curtis. And our best to his family tonight. Brad, thank you. On Tuesday night, there will be a memorial softball game in Segmoller's honor. The game will be played at the National Guard Armory Park in Lebanon.